this town is almost as random as it gets, you know? It's like you never know what's actually going on. But most of the time, it's boring. But that's the thing. I don't know how it can be so boring. Every once in a while, we might get something entertaining. Like a cop chase that goes through the city. But that's once in a blue moon. This city bores me. I feel like a tumbleweed should be rolling through the town square. People in this town are as weird and boring as the town itself. They think that going into the town square on a Friday night to go grocery shopping is the most enjoyable thing to do here. There are often times where you bump into an unknown person or someone out of the norm. Everyone in this city falls asleep around 7.30 at night. Well, I'm just up thinking about my future. I'm not like everyone in this town. I don't know. Maybe I'm out of my mind. You know it's the same problem every time. It always has to do with homework. Teachers shouldn't give homework. Hold on, hold on. Start off with the situation that started two days ago. Okay, well it all started after school. I stayed after to do some homework because I knew it was never gonna get done at home. So I was in my media class doing my history research paper, then suddenly I had to take a piss. So I walked to the other side of the school because all the bathrooms in this school are locked for some odd reason. I knew we just should have taken a piss in the bottle, but any hooser, where was I? Oh, oh, the bathroom. So I was in the stall and then a random hobo walks out of the stall next to me and stands right next to me. A hobo in the school, creepy, right? I know. So I dash out of the bathroom, then he starts following me. Once I reach the classroom, I slam the door shut. So you walked into the wrong- oh, No, 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 I'm not done, I'm not done. So I crouched under the door, then I peeked to check the area. And then he started making this weird face. I took so fast trying to avoid eye contact. Then I peeked again and he was gone. After 30 seconds, I opened the door. But he wasn't in front of the classroom anymore. So I walked down the hall and he was nowhere to be found. So I went back into the room. Sat down. And what do you know? He kept closing his eyes like and it like what? <sighs> like what, Daniel? Like what? Man, my head hurts. Oof. That dream was something else. A hobo? How? That had to have been one of the weirdest dreams I've had in a while. Hmm, maybe some cider will cheer me up.
how in the world did that guy get into my room? <laughs> Imagine if this was the hobo at my door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. You've got to be kidding me. Well, I guess he didn't want his money. Off to the strip club. No problem. All right, not that weird. <laughs> not that. You wanna find a dog with me? The stranger said he his dog is lost. <laughs> let's go find it. Come on, let's go find it. He said he has candy in his bag. Really cool bag. Really. Josh, you're sending some fight email right there. Aggressive, more aggressive. Uh, he was doing it. He was up. Like that? <laughs> <laughs> Creepier. He kept doing this thing with his eyes and it was like... Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was doing this. Josh, skip this. Josh, skip this.